up guys welcome back once again it is me Molt. so happy to be here with you guys today we are on our town hall eight and we're going to be doing work we've got a whole bunch of barts trained up but first i want to start off showing you guys the attack that the title mentions 12 troops 500,000 loot this was hilarious let's go in here and uh check it out so it's right here and it's hilarious look at this this guy just had his things out in the corner uh all ready for me to just annihilate honestly i probably if i'd had goblins uh i probably could have used like four troops instead of 12 but this was such a godsend because i was able to get a whole bunch of loot uh which i needed because i've got some stuff that i need to upgrade um so getting this was hilarious it only took us like 45 i don't know what it was maybe a minute max um, but that means we would have had two minutes left over, so that was hilarious. Um, <laughs> just to start the video off with me doing that is really, really funny. I was super, super stoked when I got that. Let's go ahead and attack, though. We'll see if we can find um, a base that looks pretty good. This one actually does look pretty good because he's got the gold storages on the side ready for me to attack. I've got my barracks boosted, so I don't take that long when it comes to searching, guys. Uh, so if you do, if you like using Barch or if you're just trying to figure out a quick way uh, to raid and be effective at it, then Barching and Boosting is definitely the way to go. Um, when it comes to this style of attack though, you don't get that much loot unless you get lucky like I did on that last one. You get a an okay amount um, plus your loot bonus and then generally uh, <clears throat> after that, you'll come back and your army will already be ready to go. If we can take out this mortar, that's going to be huge because it will be able to take out the rest of that gold in this storage right here. And as you can see, that was just our first search. So we didn't spend that much money. We didn't spend that much gold looking for bases. We got all the gold. There's 27,000 um, elixir left over that we're not going to get. I don't think we're going to get the town hall, but if we do that'll be interesting taking out the barbarians let's see if we can take it out we'll definitely get the town hall now um <clears throat> and just keep on moving up is there any dark elixir there is some dark elixir great uh there's not that much for us to take but there is some so that's good um we will uh go ahead and just end the battle right there we'll get back see if we've got some troops trained up so ninety thousand gold plus that loot bonus um isn't too bad and then all you got to do come back here train up and you're ready to go in a couple of minutes so you don't get as many big raids because you're not searching for long um you do get them but they are a little bit harder to come by because it's completely luck instead of just searching for long enough to find them um but you come back it doesn't take that much to train up barge and then you're already ready to go so all this is trained up we're going to go through and we are going to uh let's see what kind of defensive stuff we've had um, going on so this guy got 50% on the base let's see how he did against this base design now keep in mind that this mortar over here on the right has been out of commission since the update because I've just been upgrading 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 it's gonna be done in um, about uh, 30 minutes maybe something like that I didn't I didn't really look but you can see this guy's barching he does have a couple of giants uh, probably in his clan castle i believe but he's getting all of his loot right now from um my mines and my pumps if this mortar was only working we would be crushing we would be absolutely crushing right now um so the majority of the loot as you can see he hasn't even touched any of my storages so from a farming standpoint it is going well the only storage he has touched is this one over here that i put out there because i didn't want it in the middle of the base so um, he is still working around again. If that mortar was up, we would be good to go. These archers are going to get in here, but they are going to get taken out very, very quickly and not get any of that extra loot for us. So he did get 50%. I don't really care about the trophies, and the majority of the loot that he got was because I wasn't on during the day to um, to collect it. So the base is, is protecting uh, fairly well right now. Let's go back to um, our attack log and see... Uh, how how else we've done so we have this one right here 136,000 gold um, And this was hilarious watch what happens with this lightning spell So we dropped two of them right there They actually end up damaging that one on the top and then we can take out that one So three lightning spells 
three mortars down. Like, get off me. That's freaking hilarious. And the other one is upgrading. So uh, we start off at 6% and no splash damage to be seen besides those wizards. This would not have gone nearly as well if we weren't able to take out those mortars. So when I saw this base, I was like, yes, of course, I'm taking out those mortars. Um, if you guys have your mortars like that, change it immediately because I just wrecked this guy and took um, all of his gold because he decided to put those like that. Um, it might seem like a good idea because if somebody doesn't have lightning spells, then it's going to cause a lot of damage to them. But this somebody did have lightning spells. So that was why I was able to uh, do so much work to that. Um, we uh, deployed from the top as well, but that giant bomb takes out a whole bunch of our troops. We just wanted to see how much more of this gold up top we could get. We go ahead and fast forward. There's only 20 seconds left. We actually end up getting all of the gold mines except for this bottom one right here. I didn't mean to press play again. Um, so we got a good amount of loot from that, which is awesome. We do have some stuff that we need to upgrade. Uh, so this is going to be done in 55 minutes and I'll probably leave it for a while. So it's a level four right now. All these are level six. So it's only one away from being max for Town Hall 8 uh, since the update. So that didn't take too long at all. We're going to go ahead and just fill these back up. I generally try and keep them as full as possible so that when I forget to do it and I go raid, I come back and I actually have an army comp all ready to go. Um, but we have 2,400,000 gold almost. Let's see what we can upgrade. So all of our cannons are maxed, all of our archer towers are maxed, uh, all of our mortars except for this one are maxed, our wizard towers are maxed, uh, everything is pretty much maxed. Our Teslas obviously aren't, and we have one more air defense to go. So uh, both of these are, that one's level six, this one's level six, so we're going to max out our air defenses, all right? So it's gonna take eight days, boom, bada, there it goes. Uh, super, super stoked about that. I can't believe how, how well we're doing when it comes to upgrading stuff. So we're very, very close to being maxed out um, from a defense standpoint. And then we're gonna start working on some walls. Uh, what can we research? So we can research our rage spells, we can research our P.E.K.K.A.s. Not really too worried about either of those because I'm mainly just Barch right now on this account. Um, so I'll upgrade those in the future. But I do think that I am going to continue upgrading some walls. So why don't we, uh, let's see, why don't we upgrade this one? <laughs> and which one was that? And this one right here. So we're just gonna upgrade both of those and slowly, slowly start upgrading our walls because uh, max walls on a Town Hall 8 are super, super intimidating. So um, we cannot go up any higher. Level 8 is max for level 8. Uh, let's see, we are full, we are full, so we can get another attack in, guys. That's awesome. That's why I freaking love Barch, because it trains up fast. You don't have to wait long. It's super efficient when it comes to, um, when it comes to how much elixir you use and whatnot. So I know that some of y'all might be like, why does he only Barch? But at the same time, I know a lot of you guys are actually like Barch's life, Barch's love, because that is exactly what it is. So we're going to see if we can find something really, really quick as the troops continue training up back at home. Um, we do have two lightning spells that we can use because I've got that boosted as well. So why don't we... You think we can take this one? Let's take this one. Let's see what we can do with this base right here. Um, so we're going to take out this mortar right... Which one? Let's take out... Let's take out this mortar right here. And then we are just going to... Go all out. Let's see how well we can do on this. Um, <clears throat> now you do want to try and get 50% sometimes, uh, or at least get the Town Hall, just so that you can get that extra little bit of loot from the loot bonus. Um, I am going to try and distract the mortar out here on the side so that we can get in the walls and hopefully take out this archer tower right here. There we go. So the mortar, as you can see, is still distracted outside the walls, and we are about to take out all of that gold right there. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, oh no, he's got wizards. <laughs> so he's got wizards in his clan castle. Um, maybe we can spread out some of our barbarians and distract them. I'm not too sure we're going to be able to take these clan castle troops out. Get out of here, wizards. Take them all out. Oh, they're doing so much splash damage. It's miserable. Take them out. All right, so they're all gone. Now let's get in here um, and take out this elixir storage. So we've already gotten two stars. We've got a couple of archers in the middle that are about to die. 
If only, if only they would go for that mortar and take it out. It looks like we are, however, going to get all these archers in the inside, except for this group that doesn't feel like going in. And we're going to stand with them right here, and they are going to take out the rest of this gold for us. Hopefully, he goes after the new group that gets in there, but I think we might actually be able to finish off the storage. Yes, yeah, so we finish off the storage. Doesn't have that much loot left um, at all on the base, and we're just going to finish taking this out. We're going to let these archers go ahead and just do some work up here. I was not expecting to get 70% on this base at any stretch of the imagination. I thought we would run into a little bit of trouble, but those archers are going to be dumb. We're going to go ahead and end, it, end that battle. 104,000 gold, 62,000 elixir, and then um, 11,000 of the loot bonus. So you always want to do that just because it helps pay for your searching and whatnot. Um, so that is, that's it guys. That's what we're working on right now. We are slowly, slowly upgrading. I'm enjoying it. I hope that you guys are enjoying this as well. I still cannot believe that we got 500,000 resources from 12 troops. That is hilarious. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I really, really do appreciate it. We're moving on up. Almost all of our defenses are maxed and then we're going to start working on our walls and this base is going to be crazy in a couple of months. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. As always guys, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you later. Peace.